Okay, let's get started. First, go to Office 365 portal, log in, and check if you have enough licenses and if the licenses are assigned to the users. You can do this by going to the admin portal, go to your users, select your users, and here under product license, click edit, set the country, and assign project online. In my case, I have two users and both have Project Online Professional assigned. The next thing you would like to do is go to Azure Active Directory. You can do this by going to the Admin Center and switch here to Azure Active Directory. And in Azure Active Directory, go to Users and Groups. Go to all groups and make sure you have a group with some members of your project team. In my case, there is already a group existing called PWA with my both two users. Okay, let's switch back to the admin portal. Next, you would like to go to SharePoint and make sure you have a project web app site here created for you and this should look like this here a simple empty project web app so what you should do before you go on is go back to the admin portal for SharePoint and select the PWA settings and change the permission to project permission mode and select OK. OK. So let's go back to our PWA site. You can do this by selecting this site here and go to the URL or you can place a shortcut in your browser. When you're at your project web website, go to settings and you will find here an additional entry called PWA settings. And here's a point called synchronize with Azure Active Directory. Select this and provide the name of the group with your project team members here. Save and synchronize. Okay. So the next thing you should do is go to the enterprise project types here. Select the enterprise project. Select to create a new SharePoint site when a new project is added. And what you also would like to do is to synchronize the tasks and the security settings. Okay, so we are done here. The next thing you should do is go to MS Project. And now we have to connect MS Project with uh, PWA. You can do this when you choose your project web app account, say manage account, say add. 
account name is whatever you like. It provides a project server URL. You can take this from your PWA site. This is this here. Paste it. And save it. So. And set it as default. So far, so good. Let's close project and restart. So when we create a new project, we can do this from one of the templates here. So what you like to do is to save and now you can change our target where to save and you would like to save this project at your project web app. It's a project or the template calendar. Okay, save. make an initial publish. Now your project should be published to the project web app. We can check this here. If we go to our PWA site, as you can see, the project has been saved here. So the next thing would be to go to our simple project here. Let's click and see if a sub-site has already been created. And you can see the details here. Okay, so this is just an, an overview. What you would like to do now you can Choose a team that you want to assign to your project. We go here, assign the team. You have to check out the project. What you can see here on the left side are the members of the group. We have selected in the PWA settings when we said we want to synchronize an Azure Active Directory group. So I select both here and assign these two team members to my project. So when we go here to our tasks and change the slider a little bit, you can now here say you want to edit. This will do a checkout of the project. And now you find the two team members here in the resource assignment. So let's assign one resource here, one resource here, and this task has to be done by both of them. So you can assign multiple resources. Very simple here. Let's save. Publish. and close. This will do a check-in of the project. 
Okay, so far so good. Now when we go to our simple project, we want to check if a SharePoint sub-website has already been created. We can do this by selecting project website. And as you can see, there is no site configured already here. So what you can do is go to the PWA settings. Go to the link SharePoint sites. Select a simple project and create a new SharePoint sub website. You can change the name here. I believe it is a simple project. This will do the job. Okay, so now a sub website is created. And this will have a list, a task list. And what will happen is whenever you change a task in your project, it will be synchronized to the PWA site. And this task will then be synchronized to our task list in our sub website. However, this will take a while. Everything that is running on SharePoint Online needs some time to work. So you can initialize synchronize here. This will also take a few minutes. So now when we have done this, we can go back to our projects, select our simple project and go to our project sub website. Don't be confused with this error message here. As said, everything in SharePoint Online takes a while to become functional, so we will Pause a few minutes here and then we have our tasks in our task list here. As I said, don't be confused, this takes a while for the initial synchronization. And here we are back again, as you can see, this web part here has been populated. You see the tasks here, and you can go to the tasks in the SharePoint sub website. As you can see, the tasks from the SharePoint project PWA site have been synchronized here to this website. Uh, there's one little thing to mention here. This list here is read only, so you can have a look at it, but you can't synchronize this list with your Outlook client. As said, it is synchronized from the project. Here to the sub website, you can't modify the tasks here directly, but you have to go back to your project site and you have to modify your tasks either here or with your project desktop client. Okay, so far, so good, so easy.